Hey guys, Enrique here. Um, I've noticed that some of you guys have some um, questions about regarding the Mod Buddy um, wiring harness and the EFI wire harness. When um, when you guys replace the with a brand new wire harness here on the on, the, on all the EFI motors, 44, 40, 37, you name it, 50. Um, it's more like um, I have taken a couple of questions where, uh, where some of you guys don't know what to do. You finish replacing the harness on the Briggs and Stratton motor, but you don't know what to do with the with a couple of wires, extra wires that you have on this part. And um, just as a side note, this is this is only for mud buddy motors. Uh, uh, nothing else. Nothing. All the brands are not nothing to do with Briggs and Stratton. It's just mud buddy motors. Um, now this is the HDR uh, 50 I have mounted right here. I don't have transmission, I don't have any of that. Um, so two things that I've noticed the most. Transmission wiring and your, um, so transmission wiring and your kill switch. Those two are the most important things, and I've received a couple of uh, emails that they don't know what to do with it. So, here, let me show you um, brand new wire harness. This is how it's going to come out of the box. Okay, you have the very first thing that we want to do. I'm going to show you. I don't know if I can get a really good close-up. Um, there is a yellow and red wire on this six pin connector. This wire, the very first thing you want to do, just get rid of it. We're not going to use this. Okay? So, whether you want to cut it, take the cap off, unplug it, leave it, um, pull it out, cut it, it doesn't matter. Just we are not going to use this. Okay? Now, after you have done all your, all your replacing on the sensors, the head temperature, all that stuff and you are back to this spot right here okay that's where I'm gonna show you that's what I'm going to show you um, first of all you want to unplug obviously you have your battery disconnected I hope we don't want any fires or do we <laughs> okay so we are going to disconnect obviously the battery <clears throat> Take this off and the handle. Now, some of you guys out there are gonna have instead of a 12 pin connector, you're gonna have eight and a two. No, yes, 12 pin. Uh, this is the new style. The old style, you're gonna have an eight pin connector and a two pin connector. The two pin connector is your uh, transmission, your forward and your reverse. Okay, I, well, I'll, I'll touch on that later. Um, so now, this is this is your uh, harness from the EFI harness. This is the EFI harness right here. Now, let's see. I'm gonna make it easy for you guys. Okay, I don't know if we can get close to this. Um, you're gonna notice there is numbers on the back of these plugs. You may not see them right now. But there is numbers. If you get close, you might get a little bit more, need a little, little bit more light, whatnot. But you're gonna see numbers on this back here. Each hole has a position. Red and white. This is your accessory. When you turn your key on to the on position, this is the one that gets energized. This is the one that is gonna give you. There is gonna give power to your transmission, forward and reverse. This right here is the starter. This is the one, um, this comes from a relay, which what it does, the function for this wire is to prevent it from starting and, uh, when you're engaged in forward or reverse, okay? So these two have to come out of the old one. And uh, you're gonna have to get close again. If you notice, I took the orange cap off and there's two tabs right here. Like I said, just hold on to this. And there's two tabs on this 
pull them out. That's it, right there, okay? Put them aside, and on this side, this is, a, this is the one that goes straight to the key switch. So if you follow this all the way up, it's gonna go to the key switch. This is just a little bridge, nothing complicated. You want to open it up. I trust that most of you guys <clears throat> know how to take these things apart. And if not, this is why I'm giving you this. Pull the little tab off. Now this, this little bridge is uh, really simple. If you don't have a new one, this is really easy to reuse. Just as long as you don't bend this tab, put it back on. I don't know if you can see it. Put it back on, and that's it. The wires go back into those slots, close it, crimp it, and that's it. Easy. <clears throat> okay. So on this side, I call them the female and male side. Okay. On this side, is the same. This black and green wire, this is the one that goes comes from the handle, and this goes all the way up to your kill switch. This is the kill switch wire, okay? So same thing. And this gets a little bit more complicated because of the wedge that you have in this. Um, I have a special tool for this, but you can also use a little hook. I mean, we can always, I, I think most of us have one of these. If not, it's really cheap, or you can make your own tool. But the, what you have to do, Turn it and it comes out. Okay. All right, same procedure. We're gonna hold the the black and green, pull it a tiny bit, release the tab, and it comes out. Okay, so there's this is free. There's nothing attached to this, and this is free. There's nothing attached to this. Boom, free. Okay, now we have the HDR wire panel all complete. There's nothing attached to this. There's nothing holding it. Now, if I wanted to, I could take this whole thing apart, but we're not going to in this case. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to pretend that this is the new one, and we're going to put it back together. Now, the new one, same thing. You have your orange cap. That goes, which is this. You have your orange cap, which we removed. You're going to remove it out of this one. And I believe that's it on this side. Okay, so once we have replaced it, <clears throat> we're going to go backwards in this. Remember, I told you, you we're not going to use that yellow wire. I don't know if you can see on this side, what I did, I cut it. See, the wire is still in there, but I just cut it. I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> All right. So the red, red and white is going to be your, what did I say? It's going to be your accessory. Okay, red and white accessory. And it goes on position number... One position number one on the female side, which is the wire harness side. Okay, so if you have access to it, you can use a little bit of a dielectric. This will just this is just to make it easy for you to slide it, and it also prevents corrosion. You will hear a click. Same thing with the yellow one. Position number two, you will hear a click, pull test, we're good, alright, now we replace the orange cap back on. Um, this really is not complicated, uh, just as a tip, a, a lot of... Um, a couple of people that I've talked to, they take pictures. 
You know, when you when you start taking stuff apart, take a bunch of pictures, lots of pictures. Make sure that you know where everything was when you were taking it apart. Um, in my case, I've done it a few times. I know where every every wire goes. I know the function of each wire, so I, it's it's kind of easy. Sometimes I get confused still, but it gets easy. Um, so same for this one, which was your kill switch. Okay, kill switch goes back into position number six, right here. Okay, and um, as far as this goes, I think that should be it on your near wire harness. There's two wires. And that's it. Now, on this side, right here, there was no there was no reason for it, but I went ahead and unplugged the the um yellow and red, which goes to your starter solenoid. This is the one that goes in place of the one that we cut on this side. I'm not gonna elaborate on that one because I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, but it really, it, it's really simple. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Um, I'll try to be checking that. Email me, Enrique at modbuddy.com. Um, e N R I Q U E at modbuddy.com. Um, it's really simple. It's just, just these three wires. That's the whole confusion. When we replace with a new one, we don't know where it goes. It's three wires that make a mess. You know? And it's because if we forget to put this one on, we don't have forward, we don't have reverse, my kill switch does not work anymore, and all that stuff. So if you pay attention to these three wires, it's going to make it easy. A lot easier. And, um, okay, so once you've done that, you go ahead and reconnect everything, make sure that all the connections are inside here. I've made, uh, I've made um, really solid connections. They all have solid connections. Um, after that, really, it's just the matter of reconnecting everything back up with your, um, your constant power. Oh, something else, too. Um, you have two breakers right here. The red and white, like I said, the red and white, it's this one. This is your accessory power. When you turn the key on, it, it energizes your accessory, which goes to your forward and your um, reverse. When you, uh, the other one on this side, this is your full, uh, uh, I'm sorry, constant power. If you notice, there is a, there is a loop wire. So on the older models, the, this is a white wire, um, and it just and it's just connected to the to the post on the starter solenoid. This is a constant wire. This is constant power. I'm sorry. This is for your trim. Uh, in this case, we have three, four, because we have the trim that's on the handle, we have the trim that's on the side, and we also have a trim that was on the grab bar. Um, a lot of you guys know about that grab bar switch. Really nice. And um, that's why all this is for. Um, but that's it. I mean, this is really simple. There is no, not a lot to it. Like I said, you put attention to those three wires, and that's it. There's some models out there that you're going to have an extra green and uh, black and green wire. And this is going to be coming from your oil switch, your oil pressure switch. Some other models are going to have another wire, which is going to be either green or black and green. That is, that wire is going to be coming from your uh, oil pressure sensor. Um, you, we have two options. We can either get rid of it and just cut it, don't put it on anymore, or if you still want to use it, um, you might want to, what you want to do is just want to T-tap onto this one, the one that is uh, for the, the kill switch. They have the same, they have the same functionality. They, they work the exact same way. So once we replace this little bridge, which is something I forgot to tell you, replace your bridge.
close it right there okay and the other wire is going to be coming from the bottom like i said it's either going to be either green or black and green and you can t-tap it onto this or this either or it doesn't matter it's going to have it's going to make the same it's going to have the same functionality it doesn't matter or you can get rid of it it's totally up to you that's about it um like i said if you guys have any questions comments put them down below um i will i will be checking on those or is if it's easier for you or faster just shoot me an email might be faster shoot me an email call the shop ask for me or for keep and um hopefully i can answer all your questions i think this is it for now and uh, you guys be safe out there have fun and uh, we'll talk to you later